Are you feeling spooky? Me too, but it might just be some bad chili. In any case, it's Halloween, so I figured we can hang out and create some Halloween art. But let's skip the pumpkins. I don't trust pumpkins, they're seedy. Time to get this party startled. So let's start with a secret dark ritual with wizards. The ritual magic sacrifice. Let's put that in a cave. Green and yellow. Magic lighting. Underexposed, dark, centered. Atmospheric matte painting by Derek Sebrocki and Emmanuel Shiu. 4K ultra detailed cinematic. All right, let's go. See what we can get. All right, let's see what we got. Now, I haven't prepared any of this, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys. I like the lighting in this one. But I think this one has a pretty good sacrificing altar that we can work with. So let's try and uh, keep up with that. Which one was it? This one, right? So send this to image to image. Everything just gets copied nowadays with the new version. Yeah, let's add some negative prompts. I don't think it's very blurry, but you know, it doesn't hurt. Let's go with um, four batches this time. Not too high a strength. 0. 0.6. Let's go again. See what this gets us. Yeah, I think this one's pretty cool. Yeah, let's actually, let's take this. And let's add on a dark altar, dark demon altar, wizards standing around in a circle. Is that a comma? There we go. Let's try again. Now we're not getting a lot of wizards. This crystal thing here is pretty cool. We have some wizardish things here. I'm actually gonna go with. Oh, it wasn't, oh, it's not a crystal. It's a stone statue, and then it's uh, an opening behind there. Yeah, okay. Mm, I think this light is pretty cool. Let's go with this one anyway. Oh, not that one. This one, yeah. Let's run a couple more. I might take this and Photoshop and make some changes as well. Oh, look at this one. We're getting some people around here. That's super cool. Now, this is pretty ugly, but I think we can fix that. So let's take, let's take this, this one here, copy that, throw it in there. And actually, which of the lights did we like? Ah, oh, this is sweet. Let's take this one. So we're just going to put a mask on there and fill this with black so as to delete it. And then we're going to paint back. Some of the parts here that we want. So we have a couple of um, figures here. That's these could be stones, but uh, let's try and see what um, Stable Diffusion gives us. Let's save this. Wizards one. And now that we're getting closer, let's. Get this lower, 0.45. Let's try again. Now we're clearly getting some figures around. These are a little sharp in the edges. These are super sweet. Now the colors I love on the top one here. But I think that's mainly because of what we had here. So let's try and just run a couple of new batches with this one. Oh man, this is cool. Almost looks like some sort of figure up here. And the glow is getting much, much better each iteration now. Yeah, I think they're all pretty cool. Let's stick with the top left one and then uh, we're going to create something else. So we take that one. I'm going to send it to extras. Uh, upscale it four times with Swin IR. Generate. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's go back to the beginning and create something else. Let's do a horizontal one this time. Let's try um, a flaming skull with green 
fiery eyes. Let's go red, orange, flaming skunk, green, fiery eyes. I'm gonna have four images this time. It's gonna go a little faster. Man, these are wild. Now, what the hell is this? I have no clue. There's some sort of ship here in the background, or what looks like a ship. And this skull is just whack. I mean, there's a, looks like a tongue there. And you can see the eye here, and this is just a, you know, a crevasse or a hole or whatever. That's mad. And this one's pretty sweet as well. Let's see if we can work with this one. And let's actually, let's take that one and send that to image image in front of a ghost ship. Now we're not getting any green fiery eyes, but uh, let's run a couple of batches. And if we can't get that in, we can paint that in. Ooh, these are sweet. Now we're clearly seeing the ship and we're getting some water here as well. This one is actually on land. I think actually we're gonna keep it in the water and try and get some um, glow in the water as well. Now the teeth here are a little messed up. We got a uh, lots of holes in the skull, but I think that's the... No, you know what? Let's work with this one. Let's take that. No, let's take that. And a couple of new batches. I think the first one and the last one are super cool. I think we're gonna take the last one. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get some green in there. So take that, copy that into... Yeah, we need to make a new one. And we're actually gonna just change the hue. So let's fill it with black, and then I'm gonna paint with white here. So now we've painted this area white in the mask. And we're gonna change the hue here to green is what we wanted. So sweet green. And then we're gonna just color pick this green. Get some green around here. Now it's best if you add some texture into this, but since we have some texture in the back, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna add some. Green, maybe down here. Let's change the brush to. And if you're using Photoshop and you need good brushes, uh, just Google Derek Sabrocki's Photoshop brushes. They're free and uh, great. I actually used them a lot before I started with um, AI art, as I have been painting this stuff previously. All right, and let's add some of this glow a little more here. Let's get some light here. Maybe we can add some fire up top. Let's see what stable diffusion does with this. I mean, it could work. He's a smart little bugger, isn't he? Yeah, there we go. Looks like shit. That doesn't bother us. Um, skull one. We're back into our image to image. So let's take the skull one, drag that here. And um, now we, see, we can see if we get some flaming skull with green fiery eyes. And let's generate four new ones. And we're almost getting a ship at the top of the skull. But that's not really what we wanted. But these two are getting closer to what we want. They still look pretty bad. But we're just gonna take them, and we're gonna take the second one, and just run a new, oh, uh, this one, and just run a new batch. Because now we've improved from our ugly sketch here into something that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not good, but it will be better each iteration. So instead of generating 100 images based off of our Photoshop ugly sketch, we can just let Stable Diffusion make it a little better each time. We're going to do that again. I'm going to take fourth one here. Mm, I don't think any of these are actually much better. So let's just go back. I'm happy with this input, but I think we're going to up the strength a little bit. 
to make more changes. Let's actually put that to 0.6. Let's go again. It would be cool if it started to blur the edges of the flame and the skull a bit. Now we lost the skull in the last one, but we still have three to work with. But honestly, I don't think any of them are very good. So let's just um, let's go. Let's just run it back. I really did like the stone that we're getting here, and uh, these feel very flat without that. Here we're starting to see the fire blend, so we're actually going to take that one, and we can paint the stone back in later if we want it. So let's sit. Take this, put that back in here. Let's take which one was it? This one. Get that in here. So we're gonna see if we can. Um, first, we're gonna mask this away and fill it with black. And I'm gonna paint back what we want, which is the fire up here. So now I'm using a white brush, and I'm using it at uh, thirty percent opacity, which means it's painting at 30% so I can fade into the parts I want. And that's, I think that's basically what I want, which is the fire there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna save this as skull two. I think this could be our final version, but let's just run a couple of extra ones to see what we can get. And since we're close to our final image, I'm lowering the, the denoising strength. Mm, mm, mm. I actually think the first one's better. Let's try again, and if we, don't, if we aren't getting anything cooler, I might just um, use the first one. Yeah, and I'm just going to keep the one we had. The fire is getting out of hand here. I'm not seeing an improvement. Maybe on the ship a little bit. This ship is uh, pretty sweet. And the beach here is cool. But if you want any changes like that, you can just put that into Photoshop or Photopea, which is a free online tool. Uh, it's a Photoshop clone. Let's go to Extras and put R Skull 2 in here, which is the one we liked. And just upscale that. Four times. So there we have it, our uh, skull in front of a ghost ship and a flaming skull with the green uh, glowing eyes. Yeah, I think this turned out pretty sweet actually. This concludes our spooky Halloween video. So go out there and make some cool Halloween images. If you like this impromptu video of making Halloween images, just click the like button and subscribe if you wanna. But if you don't, that's fine too. Bye bye.